I have always been a huge advocate for fire safety. Fire, just, I am paranoid of having a fire and for obvious reasons, it can be devastating. So I keep a couple fire extinguishers in my house in the event that anything happens. I hope never to have anything happen, but it's good to be prepared. So I just moved into this house. I'm gonna put this one in my kitchen. This one is made for use in the kitchen. It is non-rechargeable. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna to have to check it every now and again. In this case, there's a button on the top that you push down. And if it doesn't pop back up, then that means you have to replace it. So it's a good idea to check them every once in a while. I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail when it comes to safety. I'm not the guy, but this is what I would do is you want a, an extinguisher as close to the most common place that a fire would occur, your stove, uh, you want it close to it, but you don't want to put it like in this cabinet because if you have a fire, you're not going to be able to go in here. In some cases, this might be out of control or whatever. So you should have it close, but not too far away. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put it in this cabinet right here. I also have a fire blanket. See, I wasn't lying. I am very paranoid of fires. So I am going to hang it right here right in line sight as soon as you open this. Uh, this particular one is a first alert kitchen five and this is how you would hang it but this would probably work for a bunch of different ones. But on the back here it even says pull handle so I'm just gonna hold this like this and just give it a yank and I actually broke the handle. Whoops that's okay. That's the last time we have to pull that handle because we're gonna hang it. So there's two mounting places where I'm gonna put a screw here and right there. First thing I'm gonna do is pick my spot and draw a level line just to make sure that it's gonna be level. I like that. So now I'm gonna hold the bracket like this on that line. Just make sure both marks get lined up. You can see them in the holes there. Once I have it where I want it to be, I'm gonna take a pencil and mark the holes. So if you're not gonna hit a stud, make sure it's just anchored to the wall properly. I'm gonna use these anchors because I love these things. And they're easy to install. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is get a drill bit. That's a little smaller than this and drill those holes that I just marked. One. And two. And if you're not confident enough to drill the bigger hole first, you could drill a smaller hole and work your way up if you wanna be more accurate. And now I can install my anchors. You could just hammer these in. They have a point here. So you hammer them in and then tighten them, but I like to drill a hole. It just makes it easier, and I feel like it's more secure that way. And especially if you have plaster walls, if you do that, you could break out a bunch of plaster. So you want to avoid that. Now I'm going to take the screws that were supplied with the anchors. You can use whatever works. These ones are going to work for this. Put them in here, line them up, screw them in. Get that one started. This one on the bottom. I can push it that way. There you go. Now that bracket, nice and secure. And you can take the extinguisher, pops into place right there, snaps in like that. And if I ever need this, I can just yank it out and put out the fire. But honestly, I hope I never have to do that. But if you wanted to know how to hang your own fire extinguisher, it's a really simple thing, but you might not know where to start. And I hope the video helped. Thanks for watching.